Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another plan with me. I'm super excited for this one guys. Um, we are finally moving out of the daisy theme from April and onto this fun like watercolor honeycomb kind of theme for um, May and I say honeycomb in the sense of like the hexagonal pattern not in the sense of like bees and stuff like that. Um, I really like that kind of like hexagon pattern and I wanted to play around with that here but I also wanted to do something fun and colorful. What I really wanted to do was like an underwater kind of theme but it seems like a lot of people are going to be doing that one and sorry about the lighting guys. Um, But yeah so it seems like a lot of people are kind of doing that theme so I wanted to do something different for you guys so that is what I'm doing here. I'm just using my um, water brush pen set thing. As you can see, it's in desperate need of being cleaned, but um, I'm lazy. Um, I'm just using the blue color, a red color, but it's kind of like more like on the pink side, and um, purple. And just um, going in with that color and then using my paper towel to mop up all the excess liquid as soon as possible because um, either way, your paper is still going to end up a little bit crinkly from this, um, but I'm just really trying to like avoid as much crinkling as possible. So yeah, um, now I'm just mixing up a little bit of gold acrylic paint with some water to thin it out a little bit, and then I'm going to use a piece of saran wrap and um, put it in the paint, dab off the excess, and then um, put it onto the paper and kind of give this like little speckled gold texture kind of thing. You could easily do this with like a toothbrush or like a paintbrush and like flick the paint on there. Um, but I really like this method because I think it's a little bit um, cleaner. Um, so yeah. And now as you can see I'm just going on and um, with my black sharpie and putting on the pattern. You'll probably see my head pop into the frame a few times throughout this video like right now because it's really hard for me to see the pencil mark with like my lights on. Um, underneath the paint so I was like trying to get really close to like see them um, so sorry about that but yeah I'm just going on and putting on the pattern on the, I just said on like five times oh my gosh sorry um, so yeah I'm just filling out the pattern that I've got on there and then I'm just going to write the word May in the middle super simple and I also thought it was really cool as the black marker dried you could see some of the gold through the marker I thought that was kind of fun um, so now I'm just going to continue on with this like watercolor and gold thing um, over the next two pages and these are the same exact pages um, in my last like two videos I think. However on for the dashboard part it's just instead of square blocks they're hexagonal blocks to go with the theme. I did not do any hexagons on the monthly um, little display. What would you even call that? Your monthly spread? I'm so stupid. Um, I didn't put any hexagons on there just to try to minimize some of the obnoxiousness of this spread because it is a little bit out there and like, um, you know, busy. So yeah. And then I'm just going in and, you know, using my black marker, filling everything out. And yeah. So we are on to the budget and I am bringing back my YouTube planner because I've got so many video ideas right now guys and so many videos coming for you. Um, so I just needed a place to be able to plan all that stuff out. So I'm going ahead and doing the watercolor on both sides of the page and from here on out I'm skipping out on the gold paint just to try to again minimize some of the busyness um, of the spread. So just sticking with the paint and then the hexagon. And now I'm filling out my budget. This is the same 
um, exact spread that I've been using for the past couple of months so I'll definitely link one of my other videos down below that explains it a little bit more in detail but it's fairly straightforward and simple. to the YouTube spread um, I'm finishing up with these hexagons here and then I'm using um, stickers from this girl's shop here on YouTube her name is planning with K on YouTube I think that might be the same name as her Etsy shop I can't remember um, but I'll link both her YouTube channel and her Etsy shop down below um, so I'm just using some calendar stickers and banner stickers right here <laughs> Alright, moving on into the next two spreads. On this first page here, I'm going to be doing a, um, like, uh, I guess an assignment tracker kind of thing because I am going to be taking a summer class in the first session. I don't know if other schools that you guys are going to offer that, but they do summer classes at my college and they have like a first session and a second session. The first one is like from May to June. So I'm going to be taking a summer class, so I'm setting up in a little assignment tracker here using the Planning with K stickers again. These are her, um, it was like a school pack, sticker pack thing, um, so I'm using some of those to set this up. So on the next page, I'm going to be doing a push-up challenge tracker thing. Um, basically, I finished um, painting it and then I just did a honeycomb theme across the entire page and I'll just be filling in what push-ups I'm going to do on what days. And yeah, so on to the weekly spread. I switched it up quite a bit from last month's weekly spreads and if you guys are following me on instagram you saw that i did kind of switch some of those up a little bit as well but these are completely different than what i've done um sticking with the honeycomb theme i'm gonna make one page for just the week if that makes sense so like you're gonna see the monday through sunday on just one page and they each get their own hexagon block some of the days don't get a full block that's okay with me because it's mostly just going to be used to write down what's going on that day if I have any appointments or um, assignments that are due that day basically um, because then on the other side I'm doing a dashboard style which um, is going to have a running to-do list for the week as well as my work schedule, my workout schedule, my habit tracker that I started implementing which I'm still in love with and um, also my little trackers for my water and steps. I was tracking my sleep, but I really don't think it's necessary just because my Fitbit does track that. I mean, it does track steps as well, but I really like to see that visually laid out for me. Um, so yeah, I took out the sleep tracker. And I'm just going in with some markers that kind of match the colors that I used in the paint to add in all the details on this monthly dashboard here. And yeah. Um, so basically my last month's spread were pretty much like this, just in a more horizontal layout instead of a, I guess you would call this more vertical. In my opinion, I would call it more vertical than what I was doing. Um, <clears throat> but essentially it still has all the same things, just not quite as much space for writing underneath each day of the week, which I'm okay with that because I'm only going to have one class, so it's not like I'm going to need to have all that room. Also, I'm sorry, my brother's arms were just getting in the way there because he was trying to mess with me. <laughs> To my favorite part of the video the final flip through for this month I love how the cover page turned out I went back to my traditional cover page with the month on it instead of no 
like month title on it. Um, and then my monthly spread and my dashboard style, again, with the goals, the to-do list, and the bucket list. Again, if you've never tried the bucket list, I talked about it in the first video that I did this in, or the second. I really love it, so I'll link that down below as well, and definitely check that out. And then my budget and my YouTube spread, I'm just going to basically use that calendar to, like, star the days that I'm going to upload. And then I can write underneath of it, like, what I need to do, when I need to film what, that type of thing. Um, so yeah, that's that. And on to, oh yes, a blank page. I accidentally added an extra like set of pages in there. Um, so then I have my little assignment like tracker or month or I guess semester at a glance. That's what that sticker says. Um, so yeah, I just added some of those stickers on there and then I'll just like list underneath each month what's due and on what day and stuff like that. And again, I'll like start on the calendar. And then on to my 30 day push up challenge. I really love how this spread came out with like the full honeycomb theme. I might add an extra page at some point in this month and post it on Instagram of a full honeycomb page, like nothing else. Um, Cause it just really looks so cool. <clears throat> um, as you can see, I totally forgot to add something on this page. I wanna track um, the size of my arms at the beginning of this challenge and at the end. So I'm just adding in a little space to do that right now or well I left the space I'm adding in the writing so this way I make sure to do that right now <laughs> Right, so moving on into the weekly spread, like I said, each day has its own box. Granted, like Wednesday and Friday only have like half of a hexagon, kind of. Um, but like, I'm so fine with this. Like I said, I only have one class happening right now, so or will have only one class happening, so it's not too big of a deal that I have a ton of space to write in there. And then I just have my like weekly dashboard kind of thing. So I have that huge to-do list up there, which I love. Um, and then I have my work schedule and my workout schedule right there. Um, and then my steps and water tracker and my habit tracker, which I am totally loving my habit tracker, guys. I definitely don't think I could do a big monthly one like a lot of people do, but the weekly one works out great for me. So yeah, that is the end of this video, guys. I really hope you like it. It's one of my favorite spreads ever, even though I feel like I say that every single time I film one of these videos. But yeah, it's one of my favorites, and I'm super excited about it. And yeah, so don't forget to subscribe and um, so you don't miss another video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. I've got to go run to work now. Bye.